Why didn't Alfa Romeo keep Antonio Giovinazzi? So the news has finally been announced that Mr. Italian Jesus himself, Antonio Giovinazzi, will not be racing for Alfa Romeo next year. And it is in fact F2 star Guan Yu Zhou who will be joining the grid in 2022. This may come as a surprise to some, as if there was any F2 driver being promoted to F1 next year, you'd think it'd have been Oscar Piastri. Alas, this is not the case, so let's dive into the reasons why poor Antonio has been dropped and why Guan Yu has been promoted. Antonio has been a rather difficult driver to figure out how fast he actually is. His first full season was in 2019 and he has partnered the Iceman Kimi Raikkonen for the last three years. You'd have to say Kimi is a reasonably decent benchmark, but certainly not the same man as the one who challenged Michael Schumacher for world titles and beat Hamilton to one in 2007. Out of the three years they've been partnered together, Antonio has been the closest to Kimi this year, but you can safely assume that Raikkonen is slowly winding down into F1 retirement and thinking about all those yachts he can chill out on and how he'll never have to do a press interview ever again. Throughout this season, it was seeming like a done deal that Antonio would be replaced due to some very mediocre performances, not really showing up in any crazy races, and we've had a lot of those this season, until somehow, for whatever reason, some kind of divine intervention perhaps, he suddenly got into Q3 at Zandvoort and Monza and thrust himself into the limelight. The awakening of Antonio had finally happened, but was it too late? Well, yes it was, Matt, because you're literally making a video about him being replaced. Anyway, the problem was these awesome qualifying performances didn't translate into any points at all. Yeah, he had some bad luck, but unfortunately bad luck will not pay the bills for an F1 team. If Antonio had shown this potential earlier on in the season when contract negotiations may not have even started, this video may never have been made. Let's talk about Guan Yu Zhou now. He's currently in his third season of Formula 2. In 2019, he partnered with Luca Giotto, last year with Callum Ilo, and this year with Felipe Drugovic. He was beaten by Luca and Callum in the driver's standings, but is now comprehensively beating Felipe this year and currently sits second in the table. It's safe to say he hasn't had the stellar run through the junior formulas like Charles Leclerc and George Russell had, but at the same time has probably done enough in order to at least have a shot at a Formula 1 seat and become the first ever Chinese driver to do so in F1 history. There's rumours that the reason it's taken so long for this deal to be signed is because Guan Yu wanted to have a longer term deal than Alfa Romeo were wanting to offer him originally. But hey, they've come to an agreement now and surely Zhou should be happy with any opportunity to race in Formula 1. Although, with the sponsors of the Chinese driver rumoured to be willing to pay upwards of 30 million euros, I'm sure that sort of money can be quite convincing in these conversations. Speaking of things being convincing, you'd have thought with Antonio being a Ferrari Academy driver and the links Alfa Romeo have with Ferrari, that he'd have been a done deal to stay on if Ferrari pushed enough. But looping back to what I just mentioned about the Joe sponsorship, 30 million euros is a lot of money and something Ferrari seemingly were not willing to match to keep Antonio in the sport. There you have it, why Alfa Romeo decided to go with Guan Yu Zhou over Antonio Giovinazzi. If you were the team boss, who would you have chosen? Let us know in the comment section below.